play the piano. When I'm wearing this boot on my foot, I just can't use my damper pedal like I want to. Just doesn't sound right. I'm so frustrated. Susan, it's okay. It's just gonna be a little bit longer. You'll be wearing these shoes in no time. Oh, tennis shoes. I remember what it felt like to wear a tennis shoe. Yeah, you're right. It won't be long if I can just be patient a little bit longer. The doctor even said by Christmas, I can be wearing my high heels. Now that's exciting. Oh my goodness, I just got a message. I had this Amazon package that was supposed to be delivered on Friday and I needed it for this weekend and now it's not coming until Monday. Uh, I can't believe this. It's so frustrating. You know, I remember when I was young, we used to have Montgomery Ward catalog and we'd order stuff and we had to wait for three or four weeks for it to get there. Sometimes months. Montgomery what? Montgomery Ward catalog. You know, you'd look through the pictures, you'd find what you wanted and then it'd take three or four weeks usually to come back or Sometimes even months. Well, that's a long time. Maybe two or three days isn't <laughs> that much, but I mean, I needed it now, and so I can't believe it. And I just realized that we need to go. We've, we're gonna be late for that meeting, so. Oh, okay. Come on. Okay. Come on. Oh! I can't believe it, this traffic. We need to go, we're gonna be late. Ugh. I know. We're very frustrated, Amy, but you know, maybe this is one of those times that God's helping us learn patience. It's one of the fruits of the Spirit. He tells us in the Bible that He wants us to be patient and wait on His timing. I guess that while we're sitting here in traffic waiting, maybe we could listen to some praise music. I think that would give us a good change in perspective. But if we hope for what we do not yet observe, we eagerly wait for it with patience. Romans 8:25. Click below for a full family devotional for kids or teens.